Hi guys and welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one spot for all your animation needs. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can create a waterhole using the Nature Terrain Generator. This will be the final installation in the Nature Terrain Generator tutorials. So I really hope you enjoy this and we're really going to layer this up and make this look really cool. So what you're first going to want to do is you simply just want to select an area that you want to create the hole in. So we're going to select this square here and we're going to select this parameter and we're just going to bring that right down. And you can see that creates this really cool ditch and this kind of hole. And then we can really, um, you know, start to play around with the other squares and really alternate that. So I'm just going to select this one. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit as well. And then we'll kind of, you know, get this really cool waterhole. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to fill this up with water by selecting some water over here. I'm just going to double click on this one and we'll go into the water tab to just edit that very quickly. We're going to change that to about 30. And now we can see that looks pretty cool. So we're just going to now hit control Q and we're going to drag this in place. And we're going to use our mouse wheel to scroll down and that's going to scroll that down into the ditch or the hole here and now we can see we've got this really cool water hole now we can extend these waves and make them look a little bit bigger so it looks a bit more realistic uh, pretty much like that looks cool and we're just going to slow that speed right down and if i hit play you can see those waves moving really slowly okay so i'm just going to scroll down a little bit more we're just going to get that a little bit more in the hole and now we've effectively got this really cool waterhole created with our custom terrain that looks really 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 incredible so we're just going to get a character in now and just sit the character there just to kind of get the proportions of the whole scene and see how it looks with an actor sat in place and you know i'm really happy with how the terrain looks at the minute it looks really cool and we'll just see how good it looks with one of our characters sat in position over the water okay so we've got our character and we're just going to hit n and we're just gonna drag down so we can get her in the seated position. Okay, looks pretty cool to me. And we're just gonna get her on the floor. Maybe she's just chilling like this. And that looks cool. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of get her positioned by turning this off. Then we're gonna hit the W key. Remember to hit Control Q to get the gizmos back up. And we're just gonna rotate our character and drag her into place, sat around this water. Okay, really, really cool. And now we have our scene with our character who is chilling by the water. And it does look really, really cool, guys. And, you know, remember in the previous tutorials, we've looked at, you know, adding the kind of photorealistic backdrops. And, you know, this is a perfect example of where you can do that. And, you know, it's really just going to add layers to your scene. I'm just going to go into my backgrounds very quickly and just pop this one back in there. And, you know, you can see already it really does give a different look to the scene. And we're just going to get that in proportion. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit and you'll see, um, you know, it really starts to look a lot better. And if I add a sky, I'll just go back into my templates and in my sky tab. And we're just going to select a sky. And, you know, you can really see now how that brings the whole scene to life. So I really hope that helps. This is the final kind of installation looking at the nature terrain generator. But I really hope that helps you guys go away and get really creative and create some really, really awesome scenes. And with that said, I really hope to see you guys in my next module. Thank you again for joining me in this one. Really hope you've learned a lot of stuff. I hope to see you again soon for another tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.